Hello, you're looking at a 1990 Friendship Gulfstream that's in very nice condition for the year. It does have a roof leak, so please watch the whole video and um, look at the pictures before you bid. Going around, I'll show you the worst part first. And there is a leak in the roof right there. And it has caused a small buckle in the parquet wood. Now, it hasn't been leaking for long. There's no mold smell or anything like that. But um, it is there, so it should be dealt with fairly quickly. Uh, an easy way would be to cover it for the winter and, um, and deal with it in the spring or make a little project out of it and get a great motorhome for a very reasonable price. This motorhome does have a current Pennsylvania inspection. If I can read the writing on the back of it, I can't. But it's good till 4 April of 2014. So it was inspected uh, just recently. So that's a good thing. The interior is really nice and plush. I am not able to get the generator started. The battery is very weak. We'll go out there in a minute. It's been running and charging. Maybe it'll start. But look, the interior is nice. Got a little tear there. Can be sewn up. But the appointments are really nice. This was a high dollar motor home in its year. And a very quality built one. Has an ice maker, RV, uh, gas or electric fridge. And I am told that the fridge and the AC and the heat work fine. I was not able to verify that, but that's what I'm told. It's completely been uh, winterized. Nice little area there for bar setup or whatever. Got a good looking John area with a stand-up shower and I'm 6'3 I can stand up in here it even comes with a bar of soap nice looking gold um, shower and appointment so this was a very very quality built high dollar motorhome in its day uh, even has a bidet in it in the John Lots of storage everywhere. Nice little sink area. Queen bed. Everybody puts these little egg carton things on to make it a little more comfortable. But look at the cabinet work. Really nice dark cabinets not thin cheap cabinets they are expensive thick cabinets roof back here looks fine no marks or anything now figure the motorhome to need some work but all the bones are here to make a really nice traveling motorhome or a sit in a park place for a second home. This buckle should go down after it dries. It is a little wet right now because we had a rain and that's a little wet there. But that just started. That's why it was traded in on a new one. has the big uh, Ford 460 engine. Now the steps are, are um, power and they do not operate. All these compartments are not the cheap compartments. They are the expensive nice compartments. LP and hot and uh, shower, outside shower area. Good looking tires and simulators there. You hear the motor running. Sounds good. Now 
some pieces come out when they're slammed, so they probably should be sealed up. Don't want to hide anything. I think I'm real good at descriptions. I also have this Lakota on. I think I'm going to use its ladder to take a quick look uh, at the top of this golf stream. Oh, I can see some water puddled up there. Otherwise, the roof looks pretty good. It's puddled in the back and not leaking, but uh, it looks like it was puddled from the rain. Oh, that's what we have. It's going to be sold at a very good price. If you're new to that type of murder home, there's a Gulf Stream forum and people will tell you everything you want to know about this motor home and what goes wrong with them, how to fix them, how to do it yourself, and all that stuff. Lots of storage. A couple extra belts. Now I have my jump box on the generator battery. There's three batteries. The one that starts the motor started it right up today and it hasn't been run uh, all in three weeks. And it started started right up. The generator battery does not have enough power. It's turning over, just does not have enough. So I can't tell you whether it works or not. They tell me that it did. Oh, wait a minute, here we go, baby, come on. Ah, well, there you go. She turned over. Now the door is coming apart there, so the door needs to be re um, put together. I don't know. I put that in one of these bigger compartments. There's no use having it fall apart. So, figure to spend some money on these compartments or some time. If you're handy and you can uh, fix these little things, again, you will get a great buy. Let's put this over by my pickup truck. So make sure you understand that this is as is, and uh, believe me, it's going to be a good buy if you're a handy and you're able to fix these little things. Let me see where the parking brake is. The heat is blowing, but not through the vents, so it may be a vacuum where you. Um, Parking brake, where are you? One second here. That came up when I put it in the garage. Okay.
She was driven here all about 50 miles, no problem. I'm only right now going to go around the lot. I can feel the heat coming out, but the blower, again, is not blowing through the vents. 70,000 miles, nothing for a 1990. She drives nice, feels tight on the road. By going around the corner, I got the water off the roof. She feels nice though when she drives. All the gauges are good. Now one reason that generator may have not have started, it needs to have a quarter tank for the generator to run. And it's just at a quarter. So, use that information for your own information, but anyway. Now, when you come to pick this up, you'll get a clear title, a bill of sale, and a 60-day temporary license tag to drive it home on and drive it around once you get home. Please do not bid unless you're able to finish the transaction. Don't tell me you didn't read about this or that or you can't get your money now. This is not a game. It's a... It's a real auction, and it is a no reserve auction, so the top bidder is going to get it. And I don't play any games with the with the uh, bids. Let's see where I'm going here. Backs up nicely and easily, though. You can see right in the mirrors everything you need to see. Crunch, crunch, right? No, it's going right in. Sounds like there's a sensor system for telling you how to back up. Well, I'm going to put it in here straight. Now, she sounds good. I'll tell you, this was a great motorhome, and it's day, still nice, and the uh, parking brake must come on when you put it in park. So, um, anyway buy this motor home. It'll be a good buy. Yes, it is December. Oh, third thing is, if you don't want to pick it up quickly, you don't have to. I don't believe I can cover it, but if you want to leave it, you can leave it sit and uh, don't have to pick it up for 30, 40, 60 days. No, no storage charge on it. But you do have to pay within seven days. So it takes a $250 deposit within seven days. $250 deposit right after the auction and then the balance is due within seven days. He starts right up there. Sounds good. All right, well, uh, buy this Gulf Stream. If you're a little handy, you will get a great buy at a cheap price.